Do we hold these truths to be self-evident? The university kicked off its bicentennial celebration with an event featuring performances by the marching band, special guests Andre Day and Leslie Odom Jr., and a unique retelling of the university history. Enslaved laborers, including Zachariah, Moses, and Carpenter Sam, lent their sweat and labor to this extraordinary effort, weak and weary. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. On July 4th, 1842, the 16th anniversary of his death, the honor pledge was born. Guests in attendance also heard from notable university members and alumni, such as Katie Couric, Tina Fey, Malcolm Brogdon, Lee Smith, Ralph Sampson, and Kathy Thornton. Other notable speakers were Governor Terry McAuliffe and the descendants of Thomas Jefferson's enslaved laborers. I'm Gail Jessup White, and I work at Monticello. Well, my ancestor, Thomas Jefferson, enslaved more than 400 men, women, and children, including generations of my family. One of the most interesting parts of the event was the projection mapping of images onto the rotunda created by Paintscaping. 1895 could have been much worse had it not been for Henry Martin, the bell ringer. Students saved many of the library's books and even a statue of Jefferson. However, Professor William Eccles had the brilliant idea of using dynamite to end the fire. It didn't work. The celebration culminated with a rendition of the Good Old Song and a performance by the Goo Goo Dolls. 